Well, uh, Steve, the second house they tried to get into was met by the homeowner and his son who grabbed a gun, but they didn't have time to load that rifle, so they used it to beat the fox to death. Stay. These are the two dogs that first had a run-in with the fox, Irie and Whiskey, out on their runners last night off Pond Road about 9 o'clock, minding their own business, Whiskey. when the homeowner, who did not want to be interviewed, says she heard barking and then saw a fox running up her walkway. She tried to pull the dogs inside when she got tangled up and fell. Her son's fiance came running to help. She was bitten several times trying to get the dogs inside too. And she got attacked in the back of her leg and also on the, her uh, backside yeah. and um, tried to get the, uh, the dogs in and stuff. Uh, the fox kept attacking at least two times. The family called 911, but by then the fox had made its way to a neighbor's house about 500 yards away and got inside an entranceway. The homeowner's son grabbed a rifle. He used the, the butt of the gun where he couldn't get to his, to his ammo and killed it that way. The dead fox taken up to the state lab to be tested for rabies, while the woman and all three dogs that were bitten were treated for rabies. And it is still attacked him. Yeah. Katie Bruins is still new to the area and concerned for the safety of her newborn. It's good to know that they killed it, um, so it won't happen again. The animal control officer says he's never seen an animal act so aggressively, trying to get inside two houses. Be cautious, be aware. You know, look at, see what's going on outside, walking out. Um, my biggest concern right out here, we had, like this morning, we were out here and had a lot of kids in the area. And we're trying to let people know what's happening. And we're still waiting for word on the test results to come back on that fox. But the animal control officer told me he'd be surprised if that fox was not rabid. He says he's uh, seen a lot of cases that he's never seen an aggressive animal like this trying to get into two homes. We're live in Bodenham tonight. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.